my fuel tank is rusty. What do I do? Hey everybody, welcome back to Pierre Hidari's World of Classic Mercedes. And uh, today I'm going to talk about some of the issues that can happen to fuel tanks, particularly on older diesels that render them kind of useless. So, if you have an older diesel and the car's been sitting for a while and you start to see excessive amounts of algae and rust and other weird debris in the tank, uh, you start wondering if there's a problem with your fuel tank. And the truth is, that's frequently the case. The fuel tanks in these cars, if they are stored with not very much fuel in them will build up condensation and the sides of the fuel tank will rust. The rust eventually breaks off and falls down to the bottom of the tank and then it gets sucked up in the fuel supply. Often the rust mixes with algae or other dirt and it turns into a sludge that can end up in the fuel filters. Now, the next question I get is can a situation like this be rectified easily? I have had some luck with tanks that had minimal rust pulling the tank out and pressure washing the inside of it after draining it completely because you don't want to get diesel fuel everywhere. Uh, the end result of this is usually that if your tank's not rusted all over the place and there's just a little bit, bit of rust here and there, it's not going to get bad enough to where it actually ruins the, uh, ruins the tank and keeps ruining the filters. But if you have really bad rust, like on the 84 SD we were working on, and there's just a layer of it in the bottom and there's rust on all the sides of the tank, you should get rid of that fuel tank. Now, another question that I get from a lot of uh, listeners is, what do I do if my tank has algae in it? Algae is a living organism that can grow in diesel fuel and unless you use biocide religiously, you can't really kill the algae. Algae though, even if it is dead, still blocks up fuel filters and the little buggers are tough. They grow just about anywhere. I think they said they found evidence of algae on Mars. So, what are you going to do with these things? Well, the, the first thing you have to do is again drain the tank. The second thing is that you have to pressure wash the entire inside of the tank. It's been about 10 minutes doing so until you get all the clumps of algae out. Once all the clumps of algae are out of the out of the uh, out of the tank and the tank is clean and you stick your hand in the fuel strainer hole and it's clean to the touch, and you're probably doing okay. So, in case someone tries to tell you, oh, you need a new gas tank, your fuel tank is algae and it rusted it. No, these tanks can be cleaned and repaired. Usually on diesels, gasoline is a different story, but diesels are pretty good about this stuff, and you should be okay. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Think about supporting us on Patreon and enjoy driving your Mercedes.